Mike Johnson is Speaker of the House. Yeah. And his record on LGBTQ issues is, what's the word? Awful. So how do you work with a guy who argued that same-sex relations are, quote, the dark harbinger of chaos and sexual anarchy that could doom even the strongest republic? What? I'll work with anybody who, who can help us get good transportation available to the American people, but I don't know, maybe we'll just have them over, because our, our little house isn't that far from, from the Capitol. And if you could see what it's like when I come home from work and Jason's bringing the kids home from daycare or vice versa, and one of us is getting the mac and cheese ready, and the other one's microwaving those little freezer meatballs that are a great cheat code if you got toddlers and you got to feed them quickly, and, and they won't take their shoes off, and one of them needs a diaper change. Everything about that is chaos, but, but nothing about that is dark. That's the love of God is going to happen. Now, in case there was any doubt about the dangerousness of Mike Johnson's position on same-sex marriage and LGBT issues, let's not forget that the whole reason he is Speaker is because he is extreme on those issues. Tom Emmer was set to become Speaker for the Republicans, except that he voted for a bill codifying marriage equality into federal law in 2022, a bill that would simply allow those same-sex couples who are already married to stay married. It's a bill designed to ensure that already married couples don't have their marriages ripped apart by the government. He voted for that, the bare minimum, and that was apparently a bridge too far for today's GOP.